Hey, what's up everybody? Paul here, Left Coast Small Car Builds. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys had a great week. Hopefully you got some bench time in, or at least a little more than I did. So, Sunday morning, mall cars and coffee. I was uh, out in the shop working on some stuff, messing some stuff up for a couple hours. And uh, I was going to do this video out there, but our neighbors have a party going really loud music which i don't mind doesn't bother me but if it hits the background youtube will get me some type of copyright infringement thing i'm sure i remember getting those when when i had started my channel so i figured come in the garage before we call tonight get this done and uploaded for uh tomorrow morning so kind of um more of a talking point. I don't know about a community question, but I'm curious. So recently, between uh, some chatter within our Coast to Coast Model Car Club, a couple guys talking about uh, builds, past stuff, and then a couple friends, just random conversations, all kind of tied in. And then the other day when I was watching uh, our friend uh, Eric's video on his YouTube channel, and uh, he mentioned the AMT 57 Ford earlier boxing. It was a early 80s boxing. And he mentioned uh, collecting that kid as a kid or it kind of took him back to his childhood. So as you guys know, I do the uh, Throwback Thursdays, which in part, you know, it's, uh, t you know, ties pops in to the channel, even though he's not there. These older kits, as you can kind of see here, I just pulled a few out. We're not, not diving through them. But, you know, when I got in the hobby, Pops didn't really have anything this old laying around. These are ones he started buying, and I started picking some up here and there. And I realized some of it wasn't just the uh, kit, because we used to go back and forth and I'll tell them, why do you want to pay more for that old kit if it's reissued, right? And uh, I think without him necessarily saying in so many words, aside from the custom parts and some of the stuff that's not in some of the newer releases, you know, I think it just was something that took him back to his childhood and building as a kid and those memories, you know, which obviously as a kid, you know, it, it didn't dawn on me like that. Then as I, you know, got a little older, not just models, but other things that kind of hit home or take you back to something specific. But I started realizing with the hobby, kind of did the same. I, When I look at kits, you know, I'm 46. When I look at kits that I, I picked up or I was getting when I was 12, 13, I don't think of them as old. And I don't mean that in a funny way. I mean, I'm getting old, don't get me wrong. But I think for myself, I think of stuff like this as old kits, right? Same thing like baseball cards when we were cleaning out a storage June. Uh, you know, he saw the old baseball card stuff that I had. And uh, same thing, it's, I look at it and while there's a lot of memories back from collecting it and when I was buying certain things, to me, looking at that stuff now that I had, same thing when I was 10, 11, 12, all the way up through a teenager and young adult buying stuff, I don't see those as, as old. Old, I think of as stuff back from the 50s, 60s, you know, good stuff, right? But what is kind of cool is similar to like Pops doing this the other day when I was going through some model stuff. I came across some of these uh, AMT 55 Bel Air kits. Now, again, when I look at this, I don't think this is old, but it does take me back to, uh, so this kit was released, I think it was 1989. And uh, it was, I, I got one of these, you know, one of the gifts I got from my folks back in 1989, Christmas of 89 was uh, one of these. I got one of these and a 56 Ford Victoria kit, you know, that same style boxing. So it's kind of cool when I see it now, while I don't think of it as a old kit like I do this stuff, it does take me back to that memory. And, and funny as it is, I've, I've 
never really built one of these. Pops has built one. I'll have to do a video on it. I've got one started. And uh, after looking at this box and the pink street machine one that was released, the little white gasser one that's in one of the box that's on the box art, a build up on the side. I thought that would be a fun one to build sometime. So we'll see. Maybe get one of those out after I finish up a few projects over there. But uh, yeah, so I'm curious if if you guys have any kits like that, kind of like that take you back to a specific memory, maybe a little different view on it than you might have had 10 or 20 years ago or similar like what Eric was saying in his video on that 57 Ford. So that's kind of it, it for today. Hope everybody's had a good week and uh, hopefully next week we'll get some more build time in. So prayers out there for all our friends that were affected by the storms or have health issues or family family members with health issues again i appreciate all the comments and uh, check-ins on pops he's home doing pretty good so i'm gonna get this stuff put away get this video ready for tomorrow morning i look forward to catching all your guys's videos again thank you uh, it's fun checking out all your stuff never thought it would have uh, kind of taken off like it did so it's really cool. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the uh, Sunday morning model cars and coffee. Have a good one, everybody. We'll catch y'all later.